Glad you tuned in to Valdosta First United Methodist Church. This is Miss Diane, and I hope you are all taking precautions and staying safe today. This is a crazy time we're living through. What with the COVID being keeping us at, at arm's length from one another? So the question for the staff here at First United Methodist Church is how do we promote community and give hope to folks that are scattered out all over through social distancing? We came up with these spots on Facebook Monday through Friday and worship on Sunday. So let's begin today with prayer. Constant God who never changes, morning through night, season upon season, from time before and forever after, help us to rely completely on you. Cast out our fears, come near, for we pray in Jesus' name, amen. So, COVID-19, what does this word mean? We never heard about it before February 11th. Where does it come from? Well. The World Health Organization named it. It's an acronym from, for Coronavirus Disease. But I think we can make another acronym. C-O-V-I-D. Christ. Over. Virus, infection, death. I like that, don't you? Christ over virus, infection, death. Virus, infection, yes, even death may come to us. But Christ has defeated these enemies of the body. Take hope in Christ. Now, because anxiety and fear often manifest in the body, I'm going to ask you to stand where you are or sit in a straight chair and do this prayer exercise with me. Put your feet about shoulder width with your hands at your side, looking straight forward. Holy God, you call us to live lives of courage and wisdom, not lives of anxiety. Now, as you're able, raise both arms above your head, looking up. We raise our hands in praise to you, Father Almighty, who was and is and is to come, the I Am. Now put your arms out by your side with palms facing forward. Father God, because you love us so much, you sent us Jesus to show us the way. Now stretch your arms out front, palms up. We stretch our hands out in front of us because you call us to reach out and be there for others, carrying them to you in prayer. Now bring your hands to your brow, above your eyes as if searching in the distance. We look to the future in faith and slowly bring your hands to your chest, pressed together in the traditional prayer pose. We pause now to breathe in Christ, then breathe out anxiety. To breathe in faith, to breathe out fear. In Christ, out anxiety. In faith, out fear. Amen. Now that's a little prayer exercise that you can do right at home. I'm going to ask you to do a couple of things. First, to pray aloud. <laughs> that can be pretty scary if you're not used to it. But you have so much more alone time, so now's a good chance to give it a try. Write your prayer out first if you need to, and read it aloud. 
to God. Second, call five people each day and chat. One of those folks can be someone you don't know very well or, or even at all. Now, for me, I'll have to tell you, this is scary. I'm not a phone person. I don't call people easily. I prefer to talk in person or by text. I have to screw up my courage to pick up a phone. But I'm going to do it because I love y'all. And everyone needs a sense of community, of belonging, of being noticed, especially during this time of quarantine. So, can you do these two things? Pray and call. Finally, hear this verse from Philippians 4. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Peace out.